Hey everybody, so today I've got a fun video for you. I'm going to be revealing five t-shirts that made over $10,000 with print on demand, some of them making well over $100,000. But that's not all, in addition to showing you the t-shirts, I'm going to show you exactly how they were marketed and why they were so successful so that you can launch your own successful t-shirts and sell them online as well. But that's not all. I wanted to make this video even more interesting. So in addition to all of this, we are also going to play a fun game where you can win some points. Yay! Here's how this game is going to work. I'm going to show you one t-shirt on screen and then you will have five seconds to guess how much you think this shirt made. Option A, option B, option C, option D. And if after those five seconds you guess correctly, you win 10 points. I know that some people don't like my dancing videos. On the other hand, I've had a bunch of people tell me that my videos haven't had enough dancing in them lately. So anyway, let's take a look at that first t-shirt. Here it is. How much do you think this print-on-demand t-shirt made? You have five seconds. Go. All right, drum roll please. This print-on-demand t-shirt made over $100,000. If you guessed that correctly, congratulations, you won 10 points. Yes, this insanely simple one-word t-shirt made over $100,000. Pretty crazy, right? So how has it been able to do that? Well, to answer that question, let's first of all look at where this t-shirt is selling, and that is on Amazon, the biggest online marketplace in the world. Coming and taking a look at the sales numbers for this t-shirt with the premium Jungle Scout Chrome extension app, we'll be able to see using their sales estimator tool that this has sold over 2,000 units this year alone and is still making money even to this day. So what's the secret to this t-shirt? Well, this t-shirt was created at the height of a news story. It's November 2016, one of, if not the most controversial presidential candidate of all time, wins the USA election, Donald Trump. Even before he is officially declared the winner, users on Twitter start using the hashtag resist in response to the results, connecting the word resist to the anti-Trump movement. As the anti-Trump movement grew in the days and months following the election, several protests broke out. One of the biggest happened on January 21st, 2017, the Women's March. Throughout the march, that same hashtag, resist, was used to communicate and spread awareness through Twitter. All of this culminated on January 25th, when Greenpeace hung a 70-foot banner from a 300-foot crane that was visible behind the iconic White House shot that featured one word, resist. And when was this t-shirt launched? February 1st, 2017, just six days after Greenpeace hung their famous sign that went viral in the news. Following news stories and current events can be a fantastic way to launch a successful t-shirt design. For example, this is a t-shirt I've highlighted on this channel that has made over $10,000. It was based off this tweet from Kanye West that went viral after he created the phrase Dragon Energy. If you are interested in building your own t-shirt print-on-demand business, then Merch by Amazon is a great program to consider, especially if you don't like having to pay for ads or traffic. And that's because by leveraging keywords and trending topics like this, you can literally make sales within hours of posting a t-shirt without doing any active marketing thanks to Amazon's insane amount of organic traffic. All right, let's move on to the second t-shirt and your next chance to win 10 points. So here is t-shirt number two. How much money do you think that this t-shirt made? You've got five seconds, go. All right, time's up. Drum roll, please. This t-shirt made over $12,000. Yep, this simple text-based t-shirt was originally made with print-on-demand, although now given its success, I wouldn't be surprised if it's now mass-produced to increase profit margins. This funny t-shirt design is another example of eBay stores that are creating simple text-based designs, slapping them onto t-shirts, and then listing them on eBay and piggybacking off of the traffic that visits there each and every day. In addition to that though, there are two other reasons why this design has been successful. The first is that it's in reference to the famous song, Relax. You know, relax, don't do it, when you wanna go to it. The second and probably biggest reason is because of this. <laughs> you have not worn
worn that t-shirt since you were 15. It doesn't even fit you oh, anymore. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Yep, this shirt is a replica of a t-shirt used in one of Friends' most famous scenes. So really, yeah, uh, this t-shirt is mostly bought by fans of the Friends sitcom, and it's a great example of what I was talking about in this video. Because yes, while on the surface it seems like a good idea to create a shirt like this and to, you know, sell it to fans of the show Friends, doing so would be illegal since it's infringing on the trademark rights of the Friends logo. So instead, think of clever ways that you can reference famous celebrities, shows, video games, and other media that fans will recognize without infringing on things like copyrights and trademarks to successfully and legally piggyback off of them. And by the way, if you are enjoying this video and you want to learn even more, then you should be sure to download our free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to Make of $10,000 a Month. Inside that ebook, you will learn how to utilize print on demand and drop shipping to launch a successful money making store. You'll find a link to get that ebook in the video description below. Okay, on to the third t shirt and another chance to win 10 points. So, how much money do you think that this t shirt made? $10,000, $20,000, $50,000, $100,000. Well, you've got five seconds to make your guess. Go. Okay, time's up. Drum roll, please. This t shirt made over $57,000. Yes, this t shirt is aimed very specifically at OB nurses. And how do you think that they drove the majority of their sales? Through this, a very successful Facebook advertising campaign. Check it out, this one ad got 36,000 reactions, 5,400 comments, and over 9,400 shares. They listed the shirt for sale on the print-on-demand website, Teespring. Using Teespy, we can see that this shirt has had over 2,300 sales, which translates to over $57,000. Pretty cool. So why did this t-shirt sell like crazy? Well, believe it or not, it's actually in a super hot niche for print-on-demand items. The reason why the nursing niche is such a super hot niche for print-on-demand products is because nurses are extremely passionate about what they do. A lot of nurses do it for more than just the money. So I've got a question for you. Can you think of any other careers out there that people might be passionate about besides the money that they earn from it? I can think of several. In particular, I can think of Teachers. Many teachers will say that they do it for more than just the money and they feel very passionate about what they do. Which is why this is also a hot print on demand niche with this t-shirt making over $30,000. So yes, there are certain niches out there which are super hot and make for great print on demand stores and campaigns. But back to that nursing t-shirt from before. Let's say you wanted to also create your own Facebook campaign to target nurses. What are some ways that you can do that? Well, if we come here to Facebook's advertising tool and create a dummy ad, we can see our different targeting options. Obviously, we can type in the job title of who we're targeting, in this case, registered nurses. So this is one way to target nurses. However, this just means that the people we're targeting must be interested in nurses. So we'll very likely target their friends and family too. So another good idea is to cross niche them with demographics. So if we come and narrow the audience, let's cross target this by selecting demographics instead of typing in an interest. Under work, we can then select industries and then click on the healthcare and medical services. By targeting people who actually work in the industry, we'll be able to avoid the mistake of hitting their friends and family. Although something to keep in mind about this particular shirt that made over $57,000, as in this shirt here, as we can see, it was targeting a very specific nurse, an OB nurse. Unfortunately, that is a very specific type of career to target with Facebook ads. However, targeting nurses in general was clearly very successful for them because what ended up happening was that, surprise, surprise, other nurses knew OB nurses from their hospitals and started tagging them in the ad. Don't you just love it when people start advertising your products to their friends and family for free? And by the way, if you are watching this video and you have learned something and you would like even more free education on starting your own online store, then you should be sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. 
Okay, the next t-shirt and your next opportunity to win 10 points is this t-shirt here. How much money do you think that this t-shirt made? You've got five seconds, go. Okay, time is up. The answer for 10 points is this shirt made over $18,000. Yep, this print-on-demand t-shirt made over $18,000, but how and why? Well, first of all, we can see that this t-shirt is selling on eBay, and it's taking advantage of the millions upon millions of people that visit there each and every day, which helps. One thing that you may have noticed, though, about these t-shirts on eBay, is they are priced pretty low. Their profit margins will be low for just one sale, but you know what? The real way to make money, both offline and online, isn't to get the customer to buy one item from you, it's to get customers to buy multiple items from you. And because these eBay sellers do that, their profit margins greatly increase for each additional t-shirt that their customers buy. I remember earlier this year, I was visiting Texas after my operation. While there, I discovered some of the nicest petrol stations in the world, Bucky's. They were selling huge cups of soda for like 60 or 70 cents each at their massive soda stations. And here is the thing. As I discovered, Bucky's is actually quite famous for its super low cost soda. Now, at best they're probably breaking even, but the reason why they do it is because it means that when potential customers are choosing between which petrol station to stop in, they are way more likely to fuel up at Bucky's since it means that they can get some cheap soda as well. Now, Bucky's aren't just selling soda, they are selling petrol as well. And this whole thing about upselling customers to multiple t-shirts, successful eBay stores know this. And so check this out. This eBay store has this big listing to direct customers to, which features not just one t-shirt, but 12 designs all in the same niche, motorbikes. Oh man, I really like this shirt. I'm gonna get this one. Hey, what's that? That t-shirt, it looks pretty sweet too. I'm gonna pick that up. Hey, I really like that one as well. You know what? Let's just get all three. And there is something else about this t-shirt that is quite noteworthy as well. You may have noticed something, that it's in the niche of motorbikes. Pretty hardcore bikers too, who customize their bikes and work on them. And this is actually pretty relevant because the demographics for these type of motorcyclists is quite specific. It's predominantly middle-aged males. And you know what? Unlike teenagers who are mostly broke, middle-aged men who own a motorbike generally have a lot more money to spend, which means that this niche can be extremely lucrative and demographics is something to keep in mind when you're choosing a niche. The fact that my YouTube channel skews much older than most YouTube channels whose biggest age demographic is usually like 13 to 17 is a big part of why my channel makes more than 10 times what other similar YouTube channels of the same size would make in AdSense revenue. So now that you know a little bit more about the motorcycle niche, perhaps you're gonna be able to successfully guess how much this shirt made here while not directly in the motorbike niche, it certainly crosses over demographic wise, which is why it was smart for the designer to focus the design to be predominantly on the back rather than the front, which you usually see for obvious reasons and shirts aimed at motorcyclists. So how much did this shirt make? You've got five seconds to guess, go. All right, time's up, drum roll for 10 points this shirt made over a hundred thousand dollars. Yep, well over a hundred thousand dollars, more like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Crazy, right? They have sold over eight thousand of these shirts. So how did they do it? Well, they used the print-on-demand service Teespring. Over time, this Teespring store has built up a very large following on Facebook, targeting the niche of conservative Republicans that are also interested in gun rights. And this isn't the only successful t-shirt they've launched and advertised on Facebook. Check out this t-shirt they've launched here and this design that they have advertised here and this design. I think if you're gonna take away one thing from this video, it's probably that politics sells no matter where you sit along the scale. This might surprise you, but this is actually one of the most lucrative niches online. Not only are they extremely passionate, but they skew older and thus have a lot more money. Plus, Facebook's advertising tools are surprisingly very, very effective at targeting these specific customers. For example, let's take this t-shirt here and imagine we are creating an ad for it on Facebook. 
With Facebook's targeting options, we can do a great job at targeting our ideal customer avatar. All right, so since we're targeting fathers, we want to make sure that we're targeting males who are living in the United States. Next, you wanna come down to interest targeting. Now, yes, this T-shirt is aimed at fathers with older daughters. We can't just target fathers with daughters very well, but we do have a great option to target fathers with older children. So come and click browse. Next, click demographics. After that, choose parents from the list, then click all parents. And now you want to select parents with older children and parents with teenage children. Excellent. Now, this is obviously uh, a shirt aimed at those who align with conservative political parties. And with Facebook demographic targeting, you can actually target that directly. So click narrow to cross target, and again, click browse. But this time, come to behaviors instead. From here, we can select politics USA, and of course, we want to choose the conservative option. So now we're targeting males in the USA with older children who also align with conservative political parties and we're targeting about 1.8 million people. This is still reasonably broad and we have more room to narrow it down further for our initial ads. So again, click narrow. Um, as this t-shirt features imagery associated with motorbike t-shirts and with the design on the back, that's what we'll target here. So type in an interest related to motorbikes such as people who are interested in you know, specific types of motorcycles. And boom, now we are targeting 280,000 people uh, that must meet all of these interests. Uh, you know, this here is our ideal customer avatar. So that's it. How many points did you win? Let me know in the video description below. And again, if you would like to learn even more about print on demand, then you should be sure to download our free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to Make Over $10,000 a Month. And you will find a link to download that ebook in the video description below.